Kim Jong-un, the dictator of North Korea, is on his way to Russia to meet with Vladimir Putin. Questions like what does Putin want? What does Kim Jong-un want? And tonight's warning from the US, this is Martha Ravitz. Tonight, the scene is set for a crucial meeting between North Korean leader Kim Jong-un and Russian President Vladimir Putin. Kim traveling to Vladivostok aboard an armored train when the two presidents met in 2019. Putin invited Kim in an effort to replenish Russia's depleting supplies of artillery shells and other munitions for the conflict in Ukraine. In exchange, Kim aims to get cutting-edge technology for his nuclear, satellite, and missile programs. In an interview with me for this week, General Mark Milley, chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, said that every nation sees an opportunity. Vladimir Putin has apparently gone to North Korea with a tin cup in hand to ask for weapons, ammunition, and support, which is the opposite of their previous relationship. Which is fascinating, and will that change things in Ukraine? Previously, North Korea was dependent upon Russia or China for support. How serious is that? And what will that do in the calculus of the war? Previously, North Korea was dependent upon Russia or China for support. Although I believe they will get some munitions, I doubt they will receive enough to really affect Ukraine. Before the weather changes, according to Milley, there are perhaps 30 to 45 days remaining with the best circumstances for combat. David makes the counterattack more difficult. David, I appreciate you very much for the in-depth interview with Martha. There will be more of Martha's conversation with General Mark Milley, the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, on Sunday. If you love the video please hit a like button and don't forget to subscribe the channel.